All right, welcome back everybody. So the way I have these releasing these videos, this is, it may not feel like it's been very long because they just keep releasing. Uh, in fact, I should check, where are we in the release schedule? Uh, the truth is though, it's been a few days since I recorded one of these episodes. So in terms of like time of recording, some time has gone by. In terms of my release schedule, let's see, we still have several scheduled to be released. So we have not caught up with kind of where I am in the release schedule. So this won't feel like uh, something different for you. Um, all right, 18 and fly. Sorry, I'm trying to do two things at one time here. 83, 88. Um, so in the meantime, I have also started a leveling series over on Fishing Planet. And that was just really something I realized I hadn't played Fishing Planet in so long. And I'm, I'm doing those as like a weekly release. So I'm actually doing way more of these episodes than I am of those. But uh, I thought it'd be a fun to, as I have time to kind of work on both. Um, but good to be back on this leveling series. And I am going to actually try to catch some bleak here at Mosquito. I want to see what the bite rate is like. But then we likely will pretty quick flip over to winding and actually fish for bleak at winding. All right, so we're going just a little bit further here, 83, 88. Um, but all that being said, I do want to thank, I've got a couple of new members to the YouTube channel, and I really appreciate that support. That is amazing. Uh, so not only have these folks subscribed, which also is huge and helps, uh, but they have actually decided to join as members to the channel which is kind of like what subscribing on Twitch is like. Uh, but anyway, um, I'm not sure. I think the people that have joined as members might actually be from the Fishing Planet side of things. So if there's anyone who is um, from Rushing Fishing 4, that has joined as members, please let me know. Uh, Cause I don't want to be wrong about that. I may have just missed that. They, the, the, mem the memberships just happened to come in when it seems like soon after I started that um, fishing planet leveling guide. And the benefit, if you don't know of, of membership, at least so far what I've been able to figure out in terms of benefit is that I actually release um, the content uh, on a schedule and so if you happen to be um, a, a member then you get it as soon as it's as it's completed as soon as it's uploaded uh, you get it instead of having to wait for whatever whatever random release schedule I have set okay so we are here at Mosquito we're just gonna see what the bleak bite is like for me. It's still early for bleak, so we'll probably have to wait a little bit to start getting bites. And then we're gonna go catch some bleak at, at, at winding. Supposedly the bleak at that spawn area are still really good. So I thought this would be a good fun. I, this is like, for me, it happens to be like pre-work hours early in the morning in real life. So I do have to watch the time. I don't maybe have as long as I sometimes do. And I also just realized I'm wearing a green shirt in front of a green screen, so that's probably causing all kinds of weirdness. But regardless, let's see how this goes. And uh, uh, I guess bottom line, thank you for the support. However you are supporting, even just watching, I really appreciate it. And um, yeah, it's good to be able to play these fishing games and, and share information with the community. And if some of you find my doing this either helpful or somewhat entertaining, then that's awesome. Still surprising on some level, but awesome. What time do y'all think the bites will start? Five, maybe? Maybe not till seven? Looks like people are getting a pretty good bite right here on flies um, 
So we'll see. I'm hopeful. Oh, there it goes. There goes one. Can't really tell. Might actually. Might actually be a roach or something. I think, yeah. I was like, I think it went under, but uh, we have casting power control and bolo rig on our floats now. Wow. You know, with no current, we probably could actually, that's a nice bleak. We could probably set three of these up. There's no current. This would not be super difficult as long as I pay attention. If the bite rate's pretty good, then I don't know. I suspect that was a rough again, but I mean, sorry, not rough, a uh, roach again. We'll go 20 and I guess we'll do fly on this one too. It seems to be what's working. All right, here we go. Let the fun begin. I'll try to drink coffee and fish with three floats at the same time. Again, we're not gonna do this for a long time. This is more of just kind of seeing that we can do it here at Mosquito because I want to go try the winding spot and I know that there's at least one cafe order at winding for some big bleak. So, and at winding, they're active on um, pearl barley. Sudden slowdown, question mark. Oh, that one snagged. Can you not unsnag a telescopic rod? Guess not. Oh man, so you do not want to have them in the stuff. Maybe this will still work. Um, somebody's called a trophy bleak here. Okay, so. Uh, I think I had a 19 on that one anyway. Hmm. This is slower than I was expecting. It's funny, we had that. the uh, few moments where it was doing well. Now it seems like it has stopped doing well. Oh, dang, perfect timing. Is it so shallow that the bleak don't have anywhere to swim with the bait? You know, they kind of just take it straight down. 
sometimes. <clears throat> I mean, how weird is it that we're, yeah, just not getting bites. Usually active bleak spot, it is going off. Maybe it's the hook size. Maybe people are sitting on trophies. That's why they're using 18s. Although I only have 18 on the first one. Lots of roach here. I mean, I like the fact that we are catching some and it's in a spot where there isn't, uh, is this a frog? No? Oh, it's a chub. I was like, something is serious. It's, you know, there's no current, which is always nice, but it definitely doesn't seem as good as winding. at least as good as winding typically is. Uh, okay. So we're going to 20 hook and pearl barley. And let's see. It does look like they have it cast a little bit far. Just kind of see how this is going. I'm going to try to do it on multiples. But with the current, it may not be. May not be worth it. Not quite eight. Eight is like the time sometimes for these, but did both of them just go under briefly? Let's just see, poor guy hooked himself. Let's just see if, um, I know that's what the spot that people are using, but man, we have done so well down here. Let's just make sure. That this isn't still better for me. one 
we'd have to catch some pretty amazing bleak to hit the cafe order i think it's one it's like that big cafe order like a ton of them over 76 or something like that but i just don't think i'll have enough time to hit that one but i still thought it'd be worth just checking this spot again seeing how we're doing Try the fly one time out of curiosity. Nothing on the fly. current I just think three is too much a little too much Getting a lot of nice bleak, but none of them are quite big enough for the cafe order so far. Yeah, it's got to be 74 on the nose. Um, oh, man, that cafe right now, if I had time, that could be killer. Like at night, you could just do almost that whole cafe, I think. <clears throat> Between bleak during the day and then everything at that one spot overnight. All right, let's try. Ooh, that stinks. What was that? So this is actually the spot that someone posted about today on VK. Um, it's a nice one. Is there space on this little thing to put two down? I don't know that there quite is. I guess there is. It's a little, it's a little dicey, but. Let's test out this spot just a little bit. It's probably the same or very similar to what we were just using, but
That drifts very quickly. Oh. So far I feel like I'm missing more bites up here. And the bite frequency might not be quite as good. What are we using here? 24 on this one? This one should be like machine gun bites. This one is 20, but it still seems to be doing okay. You don't want to see the dace on the 24 hook if possible. And we don't have 22s at the moment. Or if we do, they're occupied somewhere. I mean, I just think overall, though, I mean, yes, this spot does seem active, but I think overall the other one is just better. Just wonder if there's bigger ones here. I don't know, so far that hasn't proven to be the case either. Sure. Definitely don't like being on that little bridge, but I'm wondering how far you really need to cast it to get the good bite rate. Seem to work. That's a nice one. That's a strikeout. Yeah, we're really close to level 16, which means we're really close to getting Cottage Joe, which means we're really close to, if these spots stay active, we're really close to being able to test out some of these bream spots, whether it's at Mosquito, Winding, or even Old Berg as they start to pop up. And we're at 370 silver. I mean, I think we're actively trying at this point to save up for what we can start using to troll at Cory. I don't know, it's a long grind. Nice. I thought that was going to be a barely a marker dace, but it wasn't. Um, it is a long grind. I mean, that's why you kind of, at this point, you have to start. I mean, you can drive yourself crazy if you are too focused on, like, efficiency or how can I get there the quickest way possible. At least for me, it's better for me just to focus on like, okay, I'm just going to have fun fishing different spots at places I can go. 
and uh, before I know it, I'm getting enough to be able to get the equipment I need to go to the next place. But unless you just want to get some of the like half steps, we are getting to that point where it kind of makes sense to start saving for the big for the first big purchases like caliber HSB. Not that you have to have that much strength to troll Corey, you certainly don't, but do you want to spend how much do you want to spend on reels before the caliber HSV when the caliber HSV is so multi faceted? In other words, you can not only can you troll Corey, you can troll Volkov, you can fish at bear for carp, you can do all the things really uh, for a long time. So it does feel like a lot to save for at this point. But once you have them, you have them. What is this? Nice dace. So I don't know. I'm surprised that doesn't happen more often. Roach on this pearl barley. Both are getting nibbles. Both caught fish. I'm not putting this down though. Just because the line is like, it's a small line. It'd be easy to snap that line. So since I wasn't sure what that was, I just didn't want to put it down. I'm really glad we have a different float type on one of the rods. It just makes this a little more manageable. I wish we weren't catching so many undersized dace, but. This spot is uh, maybe just not quite as good as it was. Still very good for bleak. But the thing that was, I mean, the, the reason why we were getting like, whatever, 200 silver per hour or per day was the amount of nice dace we were hitting between the big bleak and cafe orders. I think we went over 200 silver on cafe orders. Really? That is going to be a roach or something, right? Not a bleak. I'm okay with that coming off. That was a nice bleak, by the way. So that's at least three. It's exactly three. And we would have to go like almost batting a thousand here for the next couple minutes to for me to feel like we might get there. That's a day, isn't it? Yeah. You got it. Be a bleak. Nope. It's 
sometimes Bleak and Dace bite exactly the same way. Like they're indistinguishable from each other. Sometimes I feel like Dace do a little bit weird stuff, but there are a lot of times where it is carbon copy. I think one of them will go under here. Guess not. I'll say this, a 56 gram dace seems a lot heavier than a 56 gram bleak. The way this line handles it, what is this? 1.5 kilo line. Maybe not. Hmm. Wow, look how close we are to level 16. So you need 80K for level 16. Somebody just had a trophy bleak in chat. I don't wanna hit I don't want to hit level 16 on a non-marker. There you go. There you go. On the dace. It's a good sign. Let's try to get one more fish on this line before we wrap it up. All right, so level 16. That means that there's a lot of things we can consider for next, next time we play. Uh, the most likely scenario, though, is that we just go get some cottage cheese dough. The question is, will there be anything at quarry that we actually want to try to fish for with our current equipment? There's not a whole lot we can do, but 
I'll at least look into it. And did we get a marker for the last one? Nope. Oh yeah. Oh well. <laughs> it's not gonna happen. All right, so we just made it halfway on this. Again, if we had more time, we probably could get there and that's 80 silver, it's really nice. But you know, it is what it is. Uh, it's still worthwhile catching bleak. How much time is left on that order? Yeah. Um, so by price, dace, lots of bleak. Unfortunately, a lot of non-markers. We still made 95 silver. Not a waste of time at all. Up to 467, so just real quick, in terms of what I'm talking about with the Caliber HSV, although it might be sold out here. That would not surprise me. Uh, here it is, okay. This is the reel. Now, you can't use it till level 20. Oh man, it's been a while since I've been faced with this kind of decision. Um, the other thing to think about, I suppose, is that there is this whole thing now where you can upgrade stuff. So for example, God, I'll have to check, I think, is it the Adriatic or the Fishing Pride? One of them you can upgrade. So it's sold out, but 7.5, like you can get it up to, is it nine? Um, so that's a fairly like affordable option. You can also just go Sabre 60 and get 10. I mean, this is the absolute, like this 10 kilo range is the absolute lowest I would recommend fishing at Cory. But if you have this, you can be pretty efficient and they're good reels. You will not regret having a couple of Sabre 60s. Same with the Supercast. Supercast is okay, especially if it's upgradable. I don't know if it is. Um, I just need to look into stuff. It might be the Proton. If the Proton is upgradable, that's another reasonable option. The Pulsar is, um, I just think the Sabre 60 is a slightly better reel. Now I use these Pulsars on my main account. I've got three of them on, uh, I think it's my Bunis and Picker rods. So I like them, but on, at this point on a new account, like I'm most confident with the Sabre 60, even though it's only three star, I don't know. They've just always done well for me and they've got a little bit bigger spool. Not that you want to fish for carp on purpose, but if you get into a carp situation, you're not hurting as bad. Some people still like the Alpha 80s. I, I think if you go down to this line, you might as well wait till the cal uh, go ahead and get the Caliber HSV. It's just not that much more. Um, in fact, it's very close. I wish the Titans. I wish I could justify. The Titan, but again, 1800 silver. You're talking about a thousand more to get a reel that you can actually like fully comfortably fish for carp. I don't know. I love the Titans. Use those on my bonus and feeders, but I don't, it's like that's a luxury item, I think. I don't know. So the question is, and I just need to look back and see what are the things that are upgradable. Um, it, you know, is there like a poor man's version of the Sabre 60 that you can get to about 10 kilos of strength to troll at Cory without breaking the bank? I forget when I'm at this point in a leveling guide, I forget that you have to be level 20 to even use this. Now we're level 16, but the leveling does start to slow down enough that that's a, that's a you know, a significant consideration. Because remember, the types of rods we're going to use to um, troll at quarry, like the cheap option at least, is something like this. It's only 448. I mean, that means for 900 silver, we've got both rods that we can troll with. I mean, we've, you know, 
we can we can afford one of these right now. So 900 silver gets both of these. The question is what reels do we put on them and how long does it take us to save up for those reels? So that's kind of what you're faced with, in my opinion, when you're around this level at this point in the, in the leveling process. But certainly thankful for these spots, like these bleak spots that help us get there a little more aggressively. Okay, tight lines, everyone. As always, thanks for the support. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.